All right, welcome to today's video. I'm gonna share with you how I made three mistakes using the Rode Go wireless microphone system with the Canon EOS R in real life situations with real life consequences. All right, hopefully you can learn uh, from my mistakes and uh, we're all here to learn. Let's go. You're a beautiful person and you're a good person. And if no one has told you that today, let me be the first one to tell you that. The first thing I wanna share with you is when I was using both Rode Go's in a vlog that my wife and I do. And so I had my wife wearing one, I was wearing one, and uh, somewhere here, here's the splitter that I was using to connect both receivers to the Canon EOS R audio input. And so what I failed to realize is that somehow the receivers were at different decibel levels. Yes, there's a decibel adjustment on the receivers, and there's kind of a low, medium, and high sensitivity, and I had put the microphones on us without checking. That led to recording the vlog where my wife's mic was louder than my mic. Here's what it sounded like. We said toast. Toast. To a nice clean. New beginnings. <laughs> Dang. A nice uh, fresh patio with new life. I think that's true, honey. Yeah. Uh, and may the patio continue to grow as well. As well as our relationship. <laughs> It's a little corny. It's okay. But love, love should be corny. Yeah. Yeah. Now there's an audio meter on the back of the EOS R. You can have that toggled on or switched on depending on the information you want displayed. However, I was in that scene, so I wasn't behind the camera, so I wasn't looking at that. We'll talk about that later. There's a few things that would have remedied this. One, monitoring with headphones. Two, monitoring visually using the audio meters on the back of the camera. And three, I could have prevented this by checking the decibel settings on the receivers of the RODGO units. I didn't do that, so we have unequal audio that is going into the same video file, and so it would have taken a lot of adjustments every time I talked to raise that audio. I could do it if it was super critical. I just left it as is. In the future, I plan to check to make sure when using two RODGOs in an interview setting, or in any circumstance, like a panel, um, to make sure that they're all at the same decibel setting. And it's easy to bump, and there's a low, medium, and high, so you just make sure visually that the, the audio meters, it's a little triangle indicating kind of an upward slope. Just make sure they're the same. The second error. Recently, I had the opportunity to go to an event in Los Angeles where my wife was reading poetry, and someone else who was sharing her art was there. She asked us to record her, so I did that. My wife clipped the Rode Go wireless mic on her. Um, my wife was going before her and she came off the stage and she clipped it on her. It was great to see how easy it was to use, for, even for non-technical people. Um, they did the, the mic trade-off very easily. However, when the woman went up to perform, and she's performing a musical piece, she actually warned the audience, hey, I get a little bit loud here. That should have been my, my tip off to check the meter on the back of the EOS R and make sure that her audio levels were, um, were okay. I didn't, and here's the clip, you can hear the peaking. So there's a beautiful song from the Chumash people, which is an indigenous people here in California. Uh, the woman who performed this piece, she's part Chumash, part African American. And it's a beautiful piece. I wish that I had checked the audio levels on the back of the EOS R and then gone to the Rogo receiver and just adjusted the sensitivity of the microphone. It would have been an easy fix. Hopefully you can learn from my mistakes. So far, what have we learned? Make sure if you're using two mics that the decibel settings are the same. Uh, make sure you're looking at the back of the Canon EOS R at the audio meters. Another thing you can do is wear headphones and actually listen and monitor if you're not actually in front of the camera. So those are three ways you could have prevented the errors that I made. Okay, the last one. So my wife performed at this event too. You can see in the clip that I'm about to roll what the problem was. Hello everyone. My name is Darlene Creasel and I am a writer who speaks for and with Sandra Bland. Tonight, I dedicate my work to her unfatable memory. So the problem here is not the audio. The audio is good. It's great, actually. 
Um, maybe there's a little bit of reverb because the wireless mic is actually picking up the amplification in the room, but I could do some audio adjustments uh, post-production and, and fix that or improve that. And actually it's not really a problem. I kind of like that live room sound. But what was wrong here is the visuals are distracting. So if you have good audio, make sure you don't mess it up by having camera movement, camera shake, your camera's not stabilized. And so in this case, I was using a monopod, but I was kind of leaning and rocking and you get some of that movement. And so it was worse in the beginning, but then I, actually, I improved by um, looking at the, the rear viewfinder on the Canon EOS R. I am accused of tending to the past as if I made it, as if I sculpted it with my own hands. I did not. This past was waiting for me when I came, a monstrous unnamed baby. And I, with my mother's itch, took it to breast. And I, I did improve it, but still, you can have great audio, and if you have distracting visuals, then it doesn't do you any good. Um, and actually fights against you. So make sure that you follow these tips to improve your use of the Rode Go wireless mics and the Canon EOS R. And I hope you do better than I do. I know that each time I go out, I, I try to improve. And so um, I wanna share these lessons with you. Thanks for joining in. Hey, if you're not subscribed, click that subscribe button and the bell to get notifications. I would love for you to leave a comment so I can learn from you. What are you filming? What are you working on? Do you have any audio horror stories and tips that you've learned? Uh, maybe the hard way you can share with me. Um, please share. All right, that's it for now. Until the next video, see you then.